Hello, welcome to the latest episode of Through the Pages. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, if you like this video at all, drop a little comment down low. I'm having a blast with this YouTube channel, and I know it's a small one in the scheme of YouTube and the internet, but it brings me a lot of joy, and I'm glad to be connected with you. So, a little, little thumbs up, a little comment down low, show me around there. I, I feel that. Um, so, today I'm going over one of, a book from one of my favorite authors, um, Paulo Coelho. Um, Zyre is it. I don't know why I just went to stop hit record. Um, but uh, so I actually read this uh, a couple of years ago, maybe two years ago. Um, and I just had a long drive to like Iowa and back for work that I did the audiobook on. So um, it was nice to kind of go over it again. Um, it was kind of funny where it's like one man doing all the voices. So like he does this woman's voice and stuff where it's like, it, it was a little odd, but um, it, it kept, <laughs> kept me, kept me focused. Um, so yeah, this. This is kind of, I think, my favorite style from Paulo Coelho. Um, I've done one other review of his books on here, um, Aleph, even though I think there's only two of his that I haven't read. And I think he's got about 20 out. Um, so I'll probably keep going through audiobooks to do more. But this one was that sort of style I like, where it is very autobiographical, or I perceive it to be that way but it's not so cut and dry, like it's still mystical. Um, so that's where I think people like love The Alchemist where like it is this sort of parable where magical things can happen um, without being like fantasy, you know? It's, it's, it walks that line. This is a little bit more into reality, but recognizing that there's a lot more to life and like um, and greater potentials and things like that. And I. I fucks with that. Um, so I, I really like this. This is a story, it, it is a romantic one, but um, going through the audiobook kind of hit me at the right time where I just had a big relationship kind of, um, and it was a business relationship, not romantic, but um, it, it was interesting of like this balancing desire in both of their senses. So like wife's wanting, starting to spend, like, go deeper and deeper into her work and going far out in journalism and stuff, and then him kind of learning, you know, and this is not really a spoiler at all, like, the, the book is kind of about a different journey, but, um, you know, that she was starting to feel a loss of passion, thought, like, I'll spend more and more time away so that when we're together, it's not like we're just, like, roommates, and I think that slide in a relationship away from passion towards complacency almost is, is, is always daunting. And I don't think anyone knows a perfect solution. You know, I don't think there's a one size fits all, but it it's an interesting result of that. And that there, when things are kind of separated, you see how much passion is there. And, but then his kind of route towards doing it in his process and understanding, it was just very fascinating. I love his writing style. It feels just so approachable without being like, oh, it's dumbed down or easy, like, I know he gets knocked, and, like, he even, like, he has a, a part in that about that where, like, a guy was like, why do you think your books get, like, ripped by the critics, and he has, he has good responses to it, and, like, I, so I, he's cognizant of it, but it also means, like, he's not trying to write for them, he's not seeing, like, oh, we think it should be more like this, and he's like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll make the next one like that, like, no, he writes in his style, and it's fucking incredible, that's why it's translated in so many languages, that's why it's, it's, an, he's an enormous writer, and, Rightfully so. It's not because The Alchemist was a one-hit wonder. Um, so many of his books I like more than The Alchemist, honestly. And I, and I love The Alchemist. So, um, I will probably do more. If there, if, What Paulo Coelho book would you like reviewed on here next? Because I've either read it and we'll go over it again, either by audiobook or reading it, or maybe I haven't read it, which is like Adultery and Veronica Decides to Die. Um, I think that might be it. I think that's all, all of his that I have not read. Um, so let me know if there's another Paulo Coelho book that you would like to see a review on or what your favorite is. Mm, everyone's got a favorite. Um, so Zyre, really, really good. Not my favorite Paulo Coelho book. I don't know what the answer to that would be, honestly. Um, it might be a left. It might be The Pilgrimage. I'm looking over there because that's where they're at. Um, but he, 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 he usually hits a dinger when he steps up to the plate. So, yeah, big Paulo, Paulo Coelho fan. Um, hope you enjoy Zyre. I hope this gives you a little motivation to, to check it out. 
it's a great one, I think, guys or girls. It's, it's, it's just a great book. Enjoy it.